Hi everybody, it's Cindy from Prairie Dog Pals. I was hoping to do this video outside. It's a beautiful day, but it's way too windy. There's no way you'd be able to hear me. So I came inside to the clubhouse. Um, I haven't posted in a couple of weeks. We've had a lot going on. We, um, I don't know if y'all know, I'm working in Texas right now at a campground with work camp. And we had a um, family emergency tragedy, really. I don't want to get into that because I'm not ready to talk about all that. But we had to head home to South Carolina, take care of a lot of things. It's been a very emotional journey, but we are back in Texas now trying to find our new normal, as everybody knows. Um, that shapes us, the ups and downs of life and everything that shapes who we are. And it takes us a little while to recover from things. But anyway, we are back in Texas. We are trying to find our new normal. I am trying to get back on track with my videos again, so bear with me. Um, one interesting thing that happened while we were traveling when we were back in South Carolina, all of a sudden, AT&T cell phone service wasn't working. It had gone down for whatever reason. Um, and it was not just an hour or so outage, which was very concerning because we all own cell phones. We all communicate by cell phones. Nobody has landlines anymore, or if, they're, or if they do, there's not very many of them that do have landlines. I know me and my family, we don't have landlines. Even if we do have a regular cordless phone at the house, or at their house, I live in my motorhome, so I don't have one, but even if you do have a cordless phone at your house, it's usually run through Verizon or Spectrum or cable or Wi-Fi, something like that. So when the AT&T system went down, that was just really weird to me. And you know, you understand sometimes they have issues with the service, that sort of thing. It's down for an hour or so, they get it fixed, it's up back and running. Well, it reminded me of an issue we had before, a couple of weeks before we had to leave Texas to head home. The Wi-Fi went down here at the campground. Um, our phones in the campground office are um, on Wi-Fi. They're done through Spectrum. And so we ended up closing the campground office because we couldn't receive calls. We couldn't get on our computer systems. We couldn't make reservations. We couldn't do anything. So we ended up closing the campground office early. And then later we were talking to some of the other campers at the campground. Now I have Verizon service. So we knew Spectrum was not down. We couldn't make phone calls with any of our Verizon equipment. So I was talking to another camper that, you know, was camped just a couple of sites down from me. And she said she had consumer cellular, which I think is a T-Mobile service. I know it's not Verizon. Let's, I know that for sure. So I'm not sure what, a, what other service they were using. But I would think they would all use the same Wi-Fi towers anyway. So the manager here called Spectrum to find out what the problem was since that who, that's who services our campground. They said everything looked fine on their end, that they did see where signal was down, but that from what they could tell, all of their equipment was functioning properly and that it wasn't an issue on their end, so it wasn't something they needed to fix. Okay, well that raises a huge question mark. So what was going on? 
why didn't we have service? And we were out of service for at least 12 hours or more where nobody could use Verizon. Now, someone else in the campground had T-Mobile. They were able to get a call out. They were able to get a text message out. Um, consumer Cellular, like I said, the people with that, they were able to get a call out and get um, a text message out. So it made me start thinking, what's going on? Why is this just a fluke thing that happened? Was it an intentional thing that happened? Um, is somebody testing the waters saying, oh, if we do this, it'll shut down this cell, cell signal? It just seemed odd to me that a couple of weeks later, it was the AT&T phones that wouldn't work. Verizon worked fine. I didn't have any problem with my service at that point. It makes you stop and think. But my real concern was we travel all over the place from state to state to state. All we have are cell phones. It wouldn't matter what cell phone service we had, evidently, because different services go down different times. So if we were to have a family emergency, how would I get up with my family? Hold on. So it raises the question, if your cell service is down and all of your other family members use cell service, um, how am I gonna get in touch with them? How would they get in touch with me if there was another family emergency and we were having a cell phone outage? I mean, that's an important question to ask yourself when you're traveling and that's all you have is cell signal and Wi-Fi. I don't know what was going on. Just seems really interesting to me that that's even a possibility that the equipment that was fine, but yet the cell signal went down. Sound, I don't know, I, I relate it to, it sounded to me like somebody flipped a switch and said, oh, if we flip this switch, then this, these cell providers, they're gonna not have signal and we can just turn them off. And then weeks later, they thought, oh, well, let's try to flip this switch and see if we can turn this cell signal off. Well, apparently it worked. Um, not sure what's going on, not sure. And it may be nothing, but it just seems awfully interesting. But again, what, how would we get in touch with family if they didn't live right down the street from us? How would we get up with them? How would we let them know that we don't have signal? Me and my daughter, my oldest daughter started talking about this. There would not be any way for me to let her know that I'm not receiving her messages because I don't have cell service. Now, so I guess cell service really isn't the right word to use that our cell signal went down, I guess would be the better classification. Because we have been to national parks and been in several remote areas where we did not have cell signal. So having cell signal and the cell service completely going down is two different things. Um, if we are in an iffy area, we do notify our family and say, just want to give you a heads up. We are not in a good cell area, so it's going to be hit or miss. And when we're up in Montana, that's just the way it is. That's the fact of life. So, and if you're in a national park, that sort of thing, there's not good cell service there but most people aren't there to be on their cell phones. But in an emergency situation, you need to be able to get out, get in touch with somebody. 
So, I don't know, this just seemed really odd to me, seemed really concerning. And that's what my channel's about, is talking about things that seem weird that are going on in the country, I guess you would say. Um, this not having cell signal is very concerning to me. It makes me worry about how I would notify my family. How would they get in touch with me if we had another family emergency and we needed, they needed to get in touch with us? I, I don't know. I, I don't have an answer. If you've got an answer, <laughs> I mean, I know my husband's a ham radio operator. He could have gotten on his ham radio and possibly got in touch with someone in the area of where my kids are. Now, I do have one of my children is a ham radio operator also, but I'm not even sure he has a radio set up at his house anymore. I know my husband has a handheld, but I would think that would be the only way to get up with anybody or to get a message to anybody. Hopefully we could have gotten in touch with a ham radio operator near a family member who had Wi-Fi signal. I mean, I guess we could have done that. The only other options I can think of would be to write a letter and that would take weeks for them to get that. If they even got it with the way the postal service runs nowadays, <laughs> cause that's not a dependable service. So, um, just food for thought, something to think about, something that's been on my mind. So we're back in Texas, trying to find our new normal. Look forward to many more videos. Hang in there with me. I'm have, we're having a tough time right now trying to figure everything out, but um, did want to touch base and just let y'all know that we're, I'm still here. I'm going to still be putting out videos, not sure how often, would like to try to do at least one a week. That'll be my goal, but I hope y'all are having a great day. Hope this cell signal thing didn't mess with y'all too badly, and maybe together we can figure out a solution. Who knows? Hope y'all have a great day and look forward to talking again soon. Bye.